Hey, how's it going everyone? Brad Smith here. Today I'm gonna to show you a really simple funnel, but it can go a long way for your business. If your business relies on phone calls and booked appointments, the phone call funnel here is gonna really help you out. Get those customers, once they come on the phone, how to follow up with them. That's the most important thing. Anyone can call you, you can answer it, you can get their info, but the goal is in the follow-up. You need to be able to follow up with them. So, of course, it starts with the phone call, right? And I'm gonna build this funnel out and teach you why we do it this way. So whether you're answering calls on your own or if you have assistance or someone at the front desk, you must have this funnel in place. And the goal is we want them to go to two places, your CRM so you can follow up with them or continue working with them if they do sign up as a client or, and, and, or your uh, email marketing provider like MailChimp or whoever you use to follow up with them via email. So what I like to do on the first part of the funnel from the phone call is to set up a hidden page on your website. So what this is gonna do is it's gonna be a page for you or your assistant to always have up on your computer, on your phone, um, on your iPad, anywhere you are gonna be around the most, you need to have this page up. And I usually make it pretty simple, yourwebsite.com forward slash uh, schedule or something like that. Easy for you to type in, easy to have up all the time. Now we can either do a hidden page on the site or we can do a Google spreadsheet to where you just download that app and you input that person's information when you're on the phone on the Google spreadsheet. Now everyone has a phone, everyone has apps, all you need is Google Sheets and we can set that framework up for you. Um, next is we wanna decide if they're gonna schedule, sign up or not, right? So let's just start with the first funnel. The client doesn't wanna schedule. They don't wanna sign up and get on your schedule. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill out the form and we're gonna check off one of those check marks. That check mark is gonna say no or doesn't wanna schedule, whatever you wanna put there, right? But we want this automation to trigger in your email provider like MailChimp or MailerLite that they're not ready, they're not ready to sign up. So what we need to do is we need to send them some sort of follow-up email. We need to stay in touch. Not everyone is ready to purchase or buy or start working with your business the first time they reach out. So what we need to do is build a better relationship with them. And you don't have time to focus on emailing every single person that's ever reached out. So we need to set up a seven to six to seven email sequence that's gonna continue that relationship and also continue it over time. Maybe they're not ready to start working with you today. They may be ready next year, the year after, three years later. I actually had a client sign up and start working with me three years after joining my email list. We spoke on the phone, he scheduled, he went through my email follow-up sequence and he ended up paying us for a new website three years later because we stayed in touch via email. So before we move on to these next ones, um, we're gonna take this next email, we're gonna move it right down here. So email MailChimp automation, right? And then new client wants to schedule. So before we go any farther, you get on the phone with somebody and they do wanna schedule, you're simply gonna check off the check mark, yes, that they wanna schedule, right? We're gonna put them into the follow-up campaign, and then we want to trigger them that they're gonna be added to Acuity, um, HubSpot Scheduler, Calendly, whichever one you use. We need this to trigger while you're on the call. You need to get them scheduled on the appointment so they get in there and get followed up with. So they get added to their calendar, right? We wanna make sure they add it to their calendar. And you can do all of this while you're on the phone with them. I recommend scheduling with them while you're on that call. Pull up your scheduler. So from this page that we're gonna give to get their name, their email, and their phone number, it's gonna you're gonna fill it out. You're gonna say yes, they want to schedule. No, they don't want to schedule. And then it's gonna to go to the, your scheduling link. Put them in the calendar so they get that email notification and you have it in your calendar also. Do this while you're on the phone with them. It doesn't take more than five minutes. This is a good way to build a better relationship, get them on the calendar, make sure um, they get reminded of it, and then everything will be automated from there. Next, we need to set up a tag. So if you're using Acuity or Calendly, we need to say, all right, anyone that schedules, we need to go to MailChimp or whichever service provider we use. So now we have a system to where whether they say yes or no, either way, they're gonna get added to MailChimp. And this is a good way for you to continue following up with them on a consistent basis, whether they scheduled or not. So whether they say no, they get added to this sequence, or they say yes, they get added to the sequence, you continue building that relationship. If you guys need help with a funnel like this or a funnel built 
um, like I'm building this, make sure you reach out and let me know. And thanks again for watching the video. I'll talk to you soon.